Alrighty guys, it's Minnesota Oliver and Deer back with another video. This one's going to be a little different. Well, come home from the first day of high school. Well, it's kind of bored. I was watching a uh, toy tractor times when I got home and I thought, well, because I have all these little uh, models here. Because I decided to set up a little small display of my own little creation. Bigger scale though. This would be the so-called dealer in here. I just kind of sit there and chill. Actually, never realized this, but grab these guys. Let's see, where's no start off? Ninety-eight, sixty, ninety-eight, seventy, ninety-eight, sixty. Yeah, we're gonna start off with what's at the dealer first. I'm just kind of pull them out here. I actually have a special combine too here. Well, you can call it a combine, I don't think. Start off with you. It's a 7500 John Deere chopper. I've had this, this thing's old as dirt. I do like this thing though. I've never had a I've never had a 116 scale chopper though. I forgot my, just dropped it. I like to find a 116 scale self-propelled chopper or a tow behind chopper. Yes, it's got the nice interior. That's a little scratched up because I used to play with it. I don't do that anymore. Got all the weights on the back. And you got the header for it. This is the only header it's got. I have a ton of chopper boxes too. I could make it, I could probably could make a train if I ever wanted to. We have the little brother of the other 9600. And it's got the straw chopper on the back. I need to put that on the back. The big, the 116 scale I got. There's the interior. There's the grain tank. Got the auger that fold in and out. So that that it's also the Walker combine, obviously. I'm gonna start with the smallest STS combine I got. It's a John Deere 9760. Alright. I don't know why this thing looks zoomed into me. Sorry, I wrote my phone around a storage space. I just went and cleared some stuff up. It's a 9760 STS John Deere bullet rotor. It's got the folding auger on the back. It's kind of just... Oh, come on. Just folds over the John Deere emblem. It's got the straw trap right. This one doesn't have a hitch handle like the others do. It's got the grain extension for just a regular grain tank. There's an interior if you can see from the glare. As far as you can tell all the stress marks from this thing is really old too. And you can tell we got a what is this? John Deere. I don't know if you guys could see that. I'll read it to you. It's a 937. John Deere grain platform. Then we got I've had probably about 20 different corn heads. We're going to start the second now we're going to go into the second biggest John Deere common as I have as of right now. It's a John Deere 90s 9870 90, not 9870 9860 bullet rotor of course. Green starter. Actually, that one's got the green starter as well. Now, the thing I've always thought, normal back tires are not different. I don't know. So, yeah, that's the, uh, that's one of the bigger combines. And here is probably the biggest, this act, no, it is the biggest STS they got. It's a 9870 STS. Of course, green machine. Yeah, you can see that, that one's got the hitch on the bottom. Straw trapper as normal. Got the folding auger. Really do like it. Really do like it. Now on to the specialty combine I got. Would you believe that? Cotton picker. It's a... I think it's a... 1, 2, 3, 4... Huh? 1, 2, 3, 4... 6 row picker. It is a 9986 cotton picker. Put duels on it. 
one combine. I actually got this out of Michigan. Yeah, I call it my specialty combine. Then around our the construction equipment, there's part right here. Set that up here so I'm not sitting down there. It's a John Deere 624J. This thing is actually very, very, very detailed. You can tell. I actually had a hard time articulating it. You know, it looks worn out. I call this a straight pipe. It's got the nice interior. It's highly detailed. I have the bucket for it somewhere. Now here's a nice thing. Well, that does open. For sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get a light on you. It's kind of getting dark. Let's see. Sweet. You can see that a little better. It's got a very detailed engine. It's the radiated. On the other side, one of the back's falling off and this top part's falling off over time. And then I can't remember where the heck I got this thing. So I'm not supposed to throw it away. There we go. Of course, it's a deer. There's a model on this thing. I don't know my construction equipment. Probably should. I don't know if the John Deere's ready. We'll just leave it at that. I've never had a model number on this thing ever for the longest time. It's a gritter. It's the night thing actually does articulate. It's very detailed if you ask me. Of course, you just follow the terrain so does the other side. It's actually linked. But I don't think the front does no the front does not do that. That's two pieces of construction equipment I got. Now we're gonna move over here. Well this is the so-called dealer. Got John Deere fertilizer spreader. Got a cat challenger. Challenger number 65. We got a W260. 260 horsepower. Went John Deere wind rower. With a 300. Uh, with, no, that's not a 300. That's a 500 rotary. This thing is an, also a mystery tractor. I call it an 8400. We have my sprayer. Boom's falling off of it. That's been missing for a long time. Probably one of the big boys I have in, my, in this tiny collection. 9620 John Deere. Dual articulated. Yeah, this guy, which. You know, no, model number's falling off. It came with a grain drill, a 1590 grain drill. Not the big one, the smaller one. It's got dual. It looks like a nice. It's a nice little tractor. I mean. I sure do like the look of it. Probably one of my favorites. Well, yeah. Well, it's red. Would you believe that? It's a Magnum. 335 Case IH. Well, I've had it. I like the duels on it. Then we have the uh, case version of the BB9080. It's an LB3433 Big Baler. Large Square Baler. Now we're on to the implement section. It's a John Deere 2200 chisel plow. Or whatever you call it. Yeah, that'll be a chisel plow. Yeah, it is. Then we got my 637 John Deere discs. Well, this thing had a uh, Harold bar on the back of it. The discs are long gone. That thing's also a little bit dirt. It's got the rear hitch. Which are like the 116 scale version. I'm going to shut the light off. Move out here to where I just kind of set up a little farm. Just for looks, you know. Got a John Deere 4020 diesel. Duels, duels two-wheel drive. They actually did make a few four-wheel drives. Hooked to the 1590 grain drill. We got a John Deere 8020 diesel. Hooked to a chisel plow of mine. Then we got a 7130. I don't know my case right now. Yeah, 7130. A loader on it. Two wheel drill loader, you can see it, it's in the shop, getting ready to, I just got a disattach it right real quick, it's a, the John Deere 56B mega wide, 
Mega wide plus actually, my bad. And I probably it's kinda of just sitting low in here, you can see it. John Deere 5010 diesel. This is actually special, and that's actually a collector's it's got a collector's coin with it. If I can get the thing to come out. This thing didn't fit in here, it kind of slide it. It's really snug. The reason why this thing's special. See that sign right there? It's the 5010 diesel. It's the 40th, John Deere, 40th anniversary John Deere powertrain. I've had this thing for a little while too. One of the bigger tractors on this little display farm. That's, I've had this little barn for a while. I can't remember where I got it. What well, came with this part, this part, and the, and the harvester. You can see this thing really good. I find the 50 series, the John Deere 50, 50 series like this guy right here. 5010, 5020. I always found those to look really mean. If you go look in one of the only farmers videos, 5020. Holy crap, that thing looks cool. Oh, come on. I'm gonna go get that for a minute. There you go. Then we're gonna go to the trucks. I don't know what mic this is. I just found it. I put it out of just kind of, you know, flatbed. Yeah, an old Ford. There's a John Deere Company truck. I actually really do like this truck. We got a Ford F-150. I actually have a trailer for this thing somewhere. I can't remember where it is. That yeah, hood pops open. It's an F-150. Goose bump with the gooseneck in it. Very, very detailed. Hmm. Got a little junk truck I call. And I got a little semi just sitting here. I have a, I have a really big uh, one. I have a Mac somewhere. And we got some of these little wagons. I use, we were using one of the. I set them up as green wagons because all I would have. Because I really don't have any wagons. That's the problem. We got a flare box. Another flare box is just a case. We have the anhydrous applicator, anhydrous tank, the case running gear on the bottom. And then we got one, same thing with the John Deere running gear. A little livestock trailer. Flare box, a little cheap old disc. Can't remember where I had this one. I've had it for a while. A little flatbed trailer. That little sprayer, junk sprayer. Then got a little, uh, what is this one? That's a 16, 16, 18 brush hog. Yes, these sets do. Black, my brother got this for me. Let alone the, the Challenger number 65. That's cool. I don't think got the round barrel or two. Hooked to the 7130. We got headers for combine on each side of that barn. You can see a little tractor sticking out there. And we got ain't this a rare sight. I've never seen a 2510 in real life. But you can't really see it, but right there. Oh, come on, focus. Yep, it's the John Deere 40th, it's the 40th anniversary John Deere powertrain, another one. I can't, I do not know how long I've had this thing. I found, I was like, you know what, I've never seen one of these, I think it'd be cool to just kind of use it as a little chore tractor. Of course, it's hooked to my, what does this say? 338 small square barrel with a kicker on the back. It actually came with a set. With the disc bind, this and the wagon with for it, and an 8110 two wheel drive John Deere. Then since we're right here, we got a John. I don't even know if this is a real make. No, I don't know if John Deere actually makes manure spreaders. I know Frontier does. It's a part of John Deere, but it's a John Deere manure spreader. Looks like the new idea. Looks like a new idea one. Yeah, this opens in the. 
the slinger in the back spins. It's a slinger. It's a tandem axle. And we got a John Deere 95. John Deere 95 combine. Yeah, back tires are falling off, falling off, whatever. I actually have quite a few of these. This is actually one of the rare good condition ones I actually have. Even though there's a bit of rust forming in there. I'd actually prefer this over an Oliver 525. Sorry you guys for all you Oliver fans, but I like because the things actually run quieter. This thing's got the cab on it. Then next to it, it's got the big combine. Again, Walker, Walker combine. The John Deere 9510 Maximizer Walker Combine. It's got the old logo on the back. Well, boy, that doesn't help much. And it's got the new logo on the front. I don't know why that is, but the thing I don't like about this, this axle moves. When you spin the tires, it one of them grinds against it. Of course, it's got the straw chopper. It's got the auger. Really nice. Good condition. This is actually not that old. I've had it for a little while. Keep that because that's what I set that up like that. Put that back. And then we got this little. Uh, this is no model. It's just I've seen Erdo make case version, New Holland version, and John Deere version. So there's no model. It's just a little chisel plow or ripper, whatever it is. Brown barrel goes there, 1590, disc buying, and there's actually another tractor that goes in here as well. It's not that guy. That guy goes into the shop. Mm, we'll get to that last. Here's the headers for, it's a 435 John Deere corn head. It's a, what is it, four row? Then we got the, I don't know what model this one is. This is a green platform for it though. And sitting in here, you guys are going to wonder, what do you got sit, what are you sitting in there for this? Yeah, I know this barn does not go with this. Head. It's a little big, but I found it. It's a Steiger. Would you believe that's actually my brother's tractor, but I love this thing. It's a CA325 Steiger. The big boy on this farm. And also what you got in here, I have it something like that because another tractor sits behind it. Then you got the grain cart, which does not have a model on it. You got the corn head and a grain platform for the 9510. Now probably for a really cool one, it's got a really nice piece on it. It's my brother's, a tractor is mine. It's an 8110 two wheel drive John Deere. This is the one that came with the disc behind the square baler and the wagon. Tab's falling off of it, I know that. Don't mind the noises upstairs, guys. Hang on. Ah, here we are. Here is the... Wait, right, that's one field. I'm actually on one field right now. What this guy is actually going to run out of the plant. Which, this is just a display, guys. It's the John Deere, uh, here, I gotta pop this open so I can read it. No, I actually don't need to. It's a John Deere 1770 NT. You guys can't read that print, but I can, though. It's with the CCS seed delivery. Alright. And then the thing just folds out like this. Nice thing is this thing just kind of pushes the hitch down and just kind of sucks it. The only thing I don't like about it... And I just realized this. The die cast broke in the bottom. You guys can count him and roll it. I'm not going to. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Sixteen row planner. Here's a cool thing though. You just kind of. Pull the hitch on this thing and it will just come in. I'm I'm very privileged to have this collection I've had. I've spent a lot of years and a lot of time building this collection. I cannot tell you 
how privileged I am to have this big of a collection to have as good of fans as you guys are. People that support me. Yes, this is too good. I know it looks a little bit funky, but I thought it looked perfect. So I'm just sitting there. there there's my keys. Get you guys focus back in there. Sorry about that. Again, guys, my phone keeps running out of storage. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a barn right there. There's actually a little tower right there. Don't mind that. That's not in there. I just put that there. Now, this is one field right here. About right there. Over to that green bin. Field right there. There's a field that goes around that. There's one right here. I just kind of made this up. I want to get into a real profession. I don't know why that's turned backwards. This guy's just making the uh, outside rounds. Of this hay field. It's a John Deere 6400. Because it doesn't have a model on it. That's what I call Because I have a 6400. I really like that seat. Though. I wish they had it on my 116th scale. I want to find a... Uh, 6400 four-wheel drive with the front loader on it yeah it's uh i don't know what model is because the uh stickers i've seen it's falling off on both sides of the arm but yes this turns here it's actually got a dual auger in it too one down there one on the top one on the top one on the bottom these crush rolls on the back yes this is what i have as my collection as of right now Well, what's in the display is what is majority of my collection. What's that? There's a little farm here. The home base of the farm. Yeah, two loader tractors. It's a case. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to branch out, do more brands of, you know, farm machinery. Mm, I don't know, that looks kind of like the 1590, the 4020, but it looks, it matched up right, so I did it. There's the 8020B. I actually have a collector coin for that somewhere. I have to find out. When I find out, do a video on it. I want to find a few sound guards. I've seen them around, but I've since kind of pathed off because these are a lot easier for me to handle. Well, um, I probably still have more, but. These are just nice to collect, they're a lot cheaper to collect. If you're going to collect something, I suggest you get the smaller scale ones. Just ask your parents, like, get these or something for you when, when they go to the store or something, which, which has happened multiple, multiple, multiple times. We've got an album at the Russian show, and that's, I've actually, that's where I got the 9510. We got the brush hog, the manure spreader, the case with 7130 and the 6400, the loader on it. All from the Nalvin Threshing Show. That's local to local to me. I haven't. I didn't go there this year because it's on the 19th of August. As it was on the 19th of August this year, it was the same day as a Farm Day. I rather I wanted to go to the Farm Day more because this is a once in a lifetime deal. The Farm Day. That disc is going. I'm going to get rid of that disc soon. I have two flare boxes. Yeah, I know. I have like three of those. Excuse me. So here's the bins that they normally get stored in. And I can actually show you guys the other 95 John Deere 95 combine I have. I actually probably have another one somewhere. Here we got a little. I prefer these a lot more than the plastic ones just because they have a lot more detail in them. Here you got a trapper box. I suck these. I actually have a few uh, two cylinder tractors too. This is a Model 80. Got a big old round bale in here. What did you get? And you have another trapper box with the top off. With the top fell off. Those are actually solid die casts you can use. Here's a plastic one. Don't care for those. What did you get? <laughs> these are, I call these black calves because they are black calves and I don't like them because they're not detailed. So I just kind of throw them on the back burner. I have a few little tonk tractors, which I'm sure is good. I'm just throwing out the plow truck in it. More stuff in here. I know I have it 70 or 60 somewhere. When I find it, I will do good on it. Well, it might be in here, actually. It might be in there. 
I doubt it. I doubt it. There's a full there. If you guys want me to do this on 116 scale as well, I will. I just thought it kind of fun to do a little YouTube series on these. The, as I call it, farm, little, my a display farm, as I call it. Cause I like setting displays on them so let people walk, when they friends over something, they'll walk by and see it. It's cool. I've actually added a few since I'm going to start getting back in these, getting a few sound guards, maybe. A few of those, too, because they're actually a lot cheaper to collect. I've been collecting these, but I like my 116 scale. Maybe. Oh, crap, draining out. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Let me start doing that. Actually, there is. Hey! So, yeah, what else do we got in here? Um. Yeah, I found that kind of cool. I actually saw an 8200 two-wheel drive. I regret not getting it now. But I found what I wanted, so I got that instead. So, you grab what you want. Oh, yeah. There's another part of this 2002 collector set. It's an 80, 8520T collector set 2002. Yeah, I played with this thing a lot. It's a silver one. I want to find one of these that's in good condition. I actually put this one to side by side. That's the other one that goes with the 116 scale 8520T 2002 collector set. Yes, yeah, the 2002 because it says that on the beer. On the, I call it. I call the one. If I have like a same version and a 116 scale, I call it Big Brother. That's what I call it in my show. Oh yeah, those guys right there. I consider those small tractors, little tractors as I've always called them. I call these the big tractors. Well. I actually have a scale chart digital display on my phone. I use that to gauge what I'm looking for. I actually have like the itty bitty ones and the bigger ones. I've never seen a 2510 John Deere. That does not say diesel on it. That does not say diesel on it. Yeah, this is the so called dealer. I know I have it the semi at the farm at the little farm, but I like that. I want to find a new Holland version of that. Buy it and give it to one of these farmers. That's what I would like to do, but I probably won't. I want to get... Uh, my plan is I want to... I can make a list. Probably from there to there. Five, th at least three different times in what I'm looking for to collect. You guys will probably see in about ten years. In about a few more years, you're going to see bins up to... Right there. Because I want to add a third bin. Just for the ones with the boxes. I found out when the person I bought this from at the Alma Threshing Show purchased this. There's a little slip of paper. I don't know if I showed you guys in. I apologize if I showed it once before. Yeah, here's a 4960. I want to find a little brother. I want to find a smaller version of this. And a 7600 too. There it is. The 116 scale John Deere. 4960 mechanical front wheel drive tractor. Fleet Farm purchased November th 13th, 1994. Regular price $26.89. Sale price $21.89 plus tax. This, I left, I'll leave that in there. I'm not going to give it back just because it gives you a little more information about this tractor. There's a price I paid for that. Don't mind him up there. Alright guys, so I got a company coming to me, so I like to say thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. One more thing before you guys go. I found a few of my two cylinders I have. Now, I've had this guy for a little while, may not look like it, but it's a John Deere 50. I don't know what that stands for though. CT. Yeah, CT. It's got fenders on those look cool. But I guess you guys saw the 80. Then this one's a John Deere D. Right here, it's John Deere D. That would be noteworthy. I just saw these sitting on top. Sit, oh, crap.
crap. Shoot. Did I go back on to the thing that does just go back in? I just try to take very good care of these. This thing really fell off that. I don't know how or when it did. But it's probably got the biggest one of the bunch. The 80. Just a few of the two cylinders. I actually have a lot of two cylinders, but they're just the same though. If I find more, I'll document that too. Hey yeah, guys, go and get this on. On what is it today? Tuesday. You guys, go and get this on Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday. You guys are going to get the construction simulator 2014 and the. Uh, Farm mechanic simulator as well. You guys can look forward to that. So, you guys are going to get this video tomorrow. I'm making it tonight. It is September. Tuesday, September 5th. Is where I'm recording this video. You guys are going to get this on the 6th. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe now. That's the final part of the video.